Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith and today I'm going to try out the new panorama modes inside the DJI Mavic Pro. So these modes started in the Spark and now they're in the Mavic and also in the Phantom in the latest firmware update. So what you've got to do is update your firmware, update the app and then we're going to go out and we're going to fly and we can just click a button and it's going to shoot different types of panoramas all on its own. So we're going to test that out right now. So I'm just heading to the beach. Okay, hopefully this camera won't fall off. Um, <laughs> okay, so right now I'm setting up my Mavic. You can see it all works nicely on there. Now one of the little things I'm doing here with the iPhone 10, as you'll notice, I've got little gaps. It's not in there all snug. And the reason for that is so I can reach those corners so I can swipe. It's one of the problems of not having a home button, but that's the way I get around it. Just make sure the phone doesn't fall out. So the first thing we need to do is just flip it over to camera. And before I go in and set all those modes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off because you can't do the panorama mode without it being in the air. So let's get out there. So I want to shoot a panorama, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find something in the middle. Like maybe we're going to start from here. Just tap to make sure I focus, so we get a nice sharp focus on there. And now we're going to tap on the camera controls, let's make sure we're in camera. And then under the camera settings here where it says photo, we have the options to choose panos. I'm going to click OK and notice we've got four different types, we've got a sphere, 180 vertical and horizontal. So why don't we start with the 180? I'm just going to choose that and I'm going to click here. And now the camera's going to go about and move and rotate and grab the shot. And let's try the next mode, which is vertical. So we're just going to click OK, and now we're going to start shooting vertical panorama. Okay, let's hit the settings again. Now this time, let's do a horizontal. And I like that in the middle, and we're just going to start now and let it shoot a horizontal panorama. It's kind of nice having the drone doing all the work for me right now. Usually I'm having to move it and shoot it and then bracket it and then move it and, and it's a lot of work but I like the results that I get manually. So this is the first time trying this auto. I'm really curious to see if I can get as good a results with this doing all the work and if I can then I'm going to shoot this way all the time. Alright and that's done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try just doing a horizontal, but I'm going to do some exposure changes. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a good spot first. So let's fly up here. I'm very low right now, but it's also important to keep your eye on it so I can see it easily within visual line of sight right now. I'm going back a little bit more, and this time we're going to go into our settings here, and I'm going to change this to manual. Right now I'm looking for zero, so we can zero it out, which is where I'm going to shoot my first set. That's done, now we're going to go two over. Great, now I can actually turn this wheel here to change the exposure, and now we're going to go two under. And now we're shooting our third bracket. Alright, and that's done, so we've pretty much shot them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around for a little minute here. Shoot a little video. <laughs> that compliments on your flying skills. Thank you. And if you turn off the downward sensors, it doesn't fight when you try to catch lander. But that's fine, I don't mind. 
So one of the things you might notice too is I've got gold on the tips of these props and I just got the new low noise props from the Mavic uh, Platinum. And you can buy the props independently. They work perfectly on the original Mavic Pro and they reduce the noise just like they would on the Platinum. So that's kind of fun. So all right guys, that's a wrap. We're done, we've shot. We're gonna take it back to the studio now and we're gonna have a look at the photos and process them and see what we got. All right guys, that was fun out in the field. Now we're back in the studio. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take the footage and we're gonna load it onto the computer and I'm gonna show you the panorama that we shot from the drone. We're gonna look at how it's structured from the DJI um, app because it's kind of interesting the way it structures all the different folders. And then we're gonna go in and we're gonna create different types of panoramas. We're gonna take them into Lightroom. We're gonna take them into Photoshop. We're gonna finish them and create some artwork out of these. And I'm also gonna give my conclusions. Now there's a lot of material to cover. So in order to really give you guys a little bit of a breather, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into two videos. So the next part, all the processing is gonna be on the next video. So grab a cup of coffee, come back, and then click on the next video and let's continue. So by the way, if you did like this, pound that like button into dust, drop a comment, and until, I'm gonna say until next time, I mean, click on the next video and we're gonna continue inside of Lightroom in Photoshop.